Here ends the criminal end of the Patrick Kane saga. No charges will be filed against NHL superstar Patrick Kane. For the last three months, rape allegations have followed the Stanley Cup champion. This afternoon, the DA's office says the accuser no longer wants to pursue criminal charges, and there were apparently holes in her story. We go now to 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins for more. Yeah, Rachel, the investigation began back in August when the DA says a 21-year-old woman claimed Patrick Kane raped her on his bed. Three months later, we now know the NHL star will not be charged. District Attorney Frank Sedita making these findings of the investigation public. He says there were significant inconsistencies between the 21-year-old woman's accounts and the accounts of other witnesses and that the DNA results did not corroborate the woman's claims of penetration, which is required for proof in a rape charge. The DA says physical evidence and forensic evidence when viewed in tandem tend to contradict the woman's claims that she was raped on Kane's bed. Now we sat down with Buffalo attorney Florina Altschiller who has prosecuted sex crimes in her career. She weighed in on the DA's announcement this morning. My suspicion is that this is based on the district attorney finding that the victims statements were not credible. They simply did not believe what she said. And we don't know what she actually told the DA, but based on the press release that he submitted saying that it was inconsistent with the DNA, one would guess that she must have said that there was penetration without a condom. Therefore, you would expect to find DNA. Earlier this week, the 21-year-old woman told the district attorney that she didn't want to go forward with a criminal prosecution, signing what is commonly referred to as a non-prosecution affidavit. Now, we expect to hear from Patrick Kane's attorney, Paul Cambria, later this afternoon. We'll bring you up to speed on any developments here on 7 Eyewitness News at 5 and 6 tonight. In the meantime, everything we have learned is on our website, wkbw.com. Joe Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.